Purdue at Wisconsin. And Wisconsin is a two-point favorite fresh off of a loss at Michigan State. Uh, Purdue just keeps finding ways to get it done. This is a 3.30 p.m. Eastern time kick on ESPN. Purdue is 3-12 and 12 against the spread in their last 15 against Wisconsin. Um, yeah, I, the road team, by the way, is 7-0 and against the spread in the last seven in this matchup. This ain't the same Wisconsin team that we are used to. Uh, going to pull it up on the screen so that you can see exactly what it is that you're looking at. I've got Purdue favored by, well, <laughs> 6.66 points. Uh, yes, that's actually what the number says there, yes. Uh, Wisconsin 0-5 against the spread of their last five against winning teams. Uh, Wisconsin's 3-7 and against the spread in their last 10 overall. I look at this, and there are absolutely ways that I can find for Purdue to take advantage here. Purdue is really good against the run. And while we're sitting there looking at Wisconsin's pass PPA at number 21 on offense, do you really trust Graham Mertz? Like, do you really trust them? I I don't think that I do. Uh, Their pass rate is number 117, so they only throw the ball 40% of the time. If they're going to run the ball at nearly 60%, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna look at that a little a little weird. Uh, PPA per rush, number forty nine on offense for Wisconsin. Purdue is fantastic at stopping the run. They are number sixteen in that metric. They defend what Wisconsin loves to do, so that is certainly something to pay attention to. When you get over to offense, yeah, Jim Leonard's defense is really really good. Uh, they're especially good against the rush. Their front seven is good at, at stopping that. They are not as good when it comes to stopping the pass. And Aiden O'Connell can carve them up. Purdue is number 39 in PPA per pass on offense. Wisconsin's defense is number 51. That's not what I want to pay attention to the most. Passing success rate, number 60 for Purdue, number 78 for Wisconsin. I think that Purdue on offense can find ways to take advantage of this Wisconsin defense. So I really like Purdue in this spot. Uh, I know that the trends say don't take them. I mean, they're 3-12 and against the spread in the last 15 against this team. But this is not the same Wisconsin team that we have seen. Uh, you look at turnover margin, you look at penalties per game, etc. It's kind of a wash on both sides. Uh, they, both of these teams really bad at, at giveaways per game. Wisconsin is a little bit better at takeaways. Um, you look at penalties per game, yeah, that kind of leans uh, towards Purdue. But you start looking at penalty yardage per game, and this thing is basically dead even. So no real fundamental advantage for either of these teams. Uh, Wisconsin does like to go slow on offense. They're number 114 in place per game. Uh, Purdue is number 8. So Purdue wants to go fast. If they can find a way to draw Wisconsin into a game that they don't want to play, more mistakes can be made. Uh, yeah, wrap it up. I will take Purdue to cover the two in Madison. Boy, that sounds weird. Boy, that sounds weird, doesn't it? Uh, could you imagine Wisconsin losing to both Illinois and Purdue in Madison? It feels like I should take Wisconsin here. I'm I'm going to ride Purdue. I'm going to trust my numbers. I'm going to trust what I'm seeing from these two teams. Uh, it makes all the sense in the world. So give me Purdue plus the two.